These tough economic times can make it really difficult for cities to take on new projects because obviously the money just isn't there. Well, now many cities are actually seeking out private funds and turning forgotten areas into something new and in many cases exciting, as Jeff Glor is here to tell us. Yeah, very good stuff, Erica. We're seeing that maybe most dramatically right here in New York where the city has taken advantage of a 65-year-old freight line that was abandoned and largely forgotten. Now, no longer. It's something old that's also brand new. Everyone else wanted to tear it down or didn't care. Ten years ago, this decaying elevated railway on New York City's Lower West Side, first built to keep dangerous train traffic off street level, was slated for demolition. But someone had an idea. We had no money, no plan. We didn't even have a specific vision. The concept, a garden in the sky, an urban work of art created not by destroying an eyesore, but embellishing it taking the plants that grew here and letting them go, turning tracks that went nowhere into a path that went somewhere. When I first saw the High Line, it was the most incredibly magical, unusual, linear open space I'd ever seen in my life. It's just close enough to the street so you can still see people's faces, but it's far enough away so you're away from it. The High Line was born, an aerial greenway, garden, walkway, unexpected economic stimulus. It's simple, Jeff. If you look today, since the High Line has begun, we've had 30 real estate projects with $2 billion and 2 million square feet. The first section opened two years ago. The second, this week, an attraction that's now visited by 2 million people a year, half of them tourists. New York City has these iconic tourist destinations we all know. Yes. Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Times Square. The High Line's now getting a lot of people. It's just designed in this very clever way to mix the old and some new architecture, but the old and the new are very carefully intermixed, so you don't see, you know, brazen, just new architecture. You see the old bleeding into the new. What was ugly and industrial has become attractive and residential. An inner city model being seen around the country. In St. Louis, City Garden, a three-acre park that's transformed downtown. Houston, Discovery Green, once a contaminated site, now a 12-acre park. What this project represents, that partnership between public and private, is it a new model for the rest of the country? Well, we've seen public and private, public-private partnerships in lots of places. This is a good example of a successful one. New York City spent $115 million to start the High Line, but today it's sustained entirely by private donations, not to mention the job creation, 8,000 in construction, 12,000 in the surrounding neighborhood. It will make people think again about what they demolish and it might, if it might be more creatively used. The High Line still has one section left to go, the completion of a concept that seems so far away such a short time ago, an ambition nearly realized. People loved the dream and you know this wasn't just a dream, it was sort of a crazy dream and I think people like crazy dreams. Right now, the High Line, after the second opening this week, is a mile long. The plan is for it to be about a mile and a half long. And they've, done. they've kind of enhanced the second section, too. There, yeah. there, there's like a little wine bar, I think, and there are places <laughs> to get food up there, which is yeah. which is nice. That third section, though, yeah. that one's a little more problematic. Right. So, well, no, I mean, they don't have a timetable yet on when it's going to be done. They just got a $10 million donation, mm -hmm. which will certainly help. Uh, but 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 no set timetable on when it's going to happen. But by the way, we should also mention, as you know, I mean, the whole it's free, too. Yeah, which is For which not is, just New York but tourists and everybody, I mean, it's, and, and, and the key here is, I mean, $150 million total you're talking about to build what's there, but when you think about $2, million, $2 billion created out of it, mm -hmm. that's sort of seed. It absolutely is. Yeah. Seed for the, all the beautiful plants <laughs> growing in that park, Literally. Jeffrey. Yes. Very nice. It's great. And by the way, some of the best people watching to be had in the city. Such, such great stuff. And it's actually not that hot up here on, on days like this. No, it's really, it's you get a breeze cool. off of the river. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you sort of have all this, this movement up there. The air actually circulates, unlike it does in a lot of pockets of, of Manhattan. So it's a great place to be. Field trip today. Um, I'm in. Yeah.